Welcome to morning market meeting, 18th July, 2019. I'm Sagan analyst and trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. The company is based in Singapore, but I live in Thailand. Let's go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. I use this session to demonstrate different ways of identifying trading opportunities using Q systems. And that was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. Let's begin our analysis with global indices. We are going to start with Australian market AXJO. We are looking at it using weekly daily at a glance template. We call it at a glance because using this template, we can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, price is going up. One week ago, the weekly backdrop candle color turned neutral and this week it turned magenta. In the daily, it displayed a bearish headwind possible reversal signal, and from there, price pulled back a little bit. In the daily, price is still in an uptrend. It is supported by memory support. Because there is support nearby, we are not going to look for any short trend. And the daily candle color as well as the weekly candle color are bearish. Therefore, we will not take any long trade either. We'll see that in many of the we'll see that in many of the global indices, we are not seeing any trading opportunities. Let's look at China market CSI. Today I will use the 500 index. In the weekly price came back to the memory support line, precisely stopped there. In the daily also it is near memory support line. It is inside a triangle pattern. Here also after displaying the bearish headwind signal price pulled back. That happens quite often often enough that when the reversal signal is displayed, we are cautious about any position we may be holding. Now we are not going to take any trade. If next week or tomorrow, tomorrow is Friday, another day is there for this week's trading. If price breaks below the memory support, that may give a breakout shorting opportunity. Hong Kong market. In the weekly chart, it is moving sideways, so the candle backdrop color is bullish. The sideways move is clearer in the daily chart where price is inside a triangle pattern, quite narrow triangle pattern. Unless price breaks out of that narrow triangle pattern, direction is not clear. India market. Let me try with the future symbol.
daily is still loading in the weekly we can see prices at memory trend line support the backdrop candle color is magenta bearish bearish color but support is there from memory line again we are not able to decide on any trend we we'll look at the usa market futures later let's look at some of the scans that i ran on q global i tend to run all the scans that identify trade setups from long bounce to short headwind. I can run all of them together on a particular symbol list. Let's say S&P 500 symbol list and I can choose the same instrument for all explorations. I have already run that and let's look at the report. Here we have the long setups above this line and short setups below the line and we can see from the numbers that the number of stocks found by the long scans are much less than the number of stocks found from the short scans that is an easy way to quickly see whether the market is going to give better shorting opportunities or better long opportunities you could also run the scans from q elite on trade station i have already run all the scans let's look at the short headwind scans these were the stocks found I'm going to drop them in sonar and look at the stocks one by one. Drop them in radar. Let's look at them and see if there is any trading opportunity or at least whether we should be cautious if we are holding long position. Caterpillar. In the weekly, it is reversing from a very long term resistance line, memory resistance line. For three weeks, it couldn't breach that resistance line. And in the daily, there is a bearish headwind signal at the double top. Those are all bearish when multiple bearish indications come together, like the daily headwind and the weekly resistance then we are more confident to take a short trend however in this case there is a trend line support therefore we are not going to take any short trend unless price can break below that however we are not going to take any long trade for sure because the daily color is now magenta daily has a bearish headwind signal and also weekly is at resistance level. If we have long position in Caterpillar, we may be cautious. Next stock, Expedia. In the weekly chart, it is at a double top. Weekly has a doji candle, indecisive candle. Previous week also, we had an indecisive doji candle. When doji candles come at the top, then they may precede a price drop not certain but they may precede and in this case the daily also has a headwind reversal signal if we apply the checklist then it is matching all the required conditions for a headwind short trade setup also of course one more day is left rather for usa market two more days are left for the week to be complete if we anticipate that the weekly color will remain yellow or the shape will 
turn out to be bearish, then we can take a bearish Hedwin short trade now. If we don't see that happening in the weekly chart, then at minimum, if we are holding a long position, we may be cautious. Certainly not a time to take a new long position in Expedia. General Motors weekly is giving an indecisive shape candle, doji like candle. It's near memory resistance. Daily is also near resistance. Daily has a headwind signal. However, daily has memory support also. And yesterday's candle shape was indecisive. If we are holding a long position, we may put trailing stop just below the memory support line. We are not going to take any long or short trade right now. Goldman Sachs GS earnings is out. In the daily chart, it displayed a bearish headwind three days ago and again once yesterday. In between, we had an indecisive shape candle. The series of headwind signals along with the indecisive shape candle in daily and also weekly is forming an indecisive shape candle is telling us not to take a long position right now. We will not take short unless this memory resistance is broken. HPQ weekly is near a resistance line. Daily has a headwind signal. If the memory support was not there in daily, we would be happy to take a short trade. This is one more time when we have multiple resistance coming together, the weekly memory line as well as the daily headwind line between signal. How far the memory support is there? So we'll not short now. If we had a long position in HPQ, we would put trailing stop just below this memory support line. IBM, the weekly is in this issue. Daily has one headwind signal, however, the candle shape is indecisive and we have support line also. Therefore, no short or no long trade here. Because these are the stocks showing bearish headwind, we are certainly not going to take any long trade. Las Vegas Sands, daily has headwind signal, however, weekly is bullish in color. The shape is indecisive. There is no trade setup. At minimum, if we are holding a long position, we will be cautious and apply trailing stop. Win, another gaming company. Once again, it is dropping very nicely from the weekly resistance line. Daily has headwind signal, daily has memory resistance. Once again, there is memory support. We are not going to take any short trade because of that. We may protect profit using trailing stop in existing long position. The last two instruments are ETFs, XHB. This is a case where we are having weekly and daily headwinds together. There was a bearish headwind earlier also around the same price level or our cautionary signals. Once again, because of the memory support line, we are not going to short right now. You can see one pattern is emerging from all these charts. Again, here XLI, another ETF, memory resistance in weekly, memory support nearby in weekly. Daily has a headwind reversal signal and it breached the memory support. This is probably the only instrument that we found 
where if today it starts to go down using intraday charts, we could look for a short trade. And if we are using intraday chart, we may try to book profit along this daily memory support line. If we exclude this instrument XLI, we could see that there are cautionary signals in many of the instruments. However, because of memory support line or indecisive candle, we are not yet able to short. This indecision we will see in US market also. We saw the indecision just now in the global indices where we couldn't get a trading opportunity in any of the global indices. Let's look at the USC futures. Start with E mini S and P 500, and you will see there are bearish headwinds in many of the market ETFs, market futures, even broad indices. That is also showing a cautionary signal. As I mentioned earlier, also when the bearish headwind comes in many related signals at the same time, then we are extra careful. In S and P 500, E mini weekly has a bearish headwind daily had a bearish headwind few days earlier and now price is below the high of that candle. There is no trade signal right now for swing trading. NQ, NASDAQ E mini. Weekly had a bearish headwind long time ago and now it has a bearish headwind again price created a double top and a false upside breakout in weekly. In daily, there was a bearish headwind earlier that led to significant price drop. Another bearish headwind in recent days, and now it created a false upside breakout. Daily has a memory support. Russell 2000 ETF, not ETF, Russell 2000 futures. This was the weakest. It is still inside the triangle pattern in weekly. The weekly color has turned bearish. Daily breached one memory support line. There is another memory support some distance away. If price continues to drop today using intraday charts, you may look for shorting opportunity. Dow Jones Industrials futures. Here only the daily had bearish headwind some days ago. Price is still above the high of that candle. Dow is looking the strongest at present. Let's quickly go through the ETFs also. Start with DIA. Here also it is looking strongest. No bearish headwind also, neither in weekly nor in daily. IWM weekly, similar to the futures, is inside triangle pattern in daily, the support broke. QQQ had a bearish headwind few days ago. Now price is below the high of that candle. SPY It had a bearish headwind in the daily at the very top and weekly also this week is forming a bearish headwind signal. Daily breached the memory support line. In fact, yesterday when price was breaching the daily memory support, it was around 300 and the future symbol ES was around 3000. I had shared the snapshot at that time in Twitter. This 
this was the final this was the initial sharing on imini at that time itself the weekly started to form the bearish headwind daily had a bearish headwind earlier and i noticed that it was about to go below the high of that candle that bearish headwind candle and it was breaching the memory support which was at a psychologically important level around 3000 if you looked at the intraday chart you would notice that it tried for a while it struggled a bit to decide where it will go from the 3000 level and eventually it dropped looking at the breaking of the memory support and the bearish headwind in daily and weekly you could take a profitable short trade in e-mini using intraday charts similar headwind reversal signals are there in the broad indices also this is the nasdaq composite index and nyse composite index using weekly charts here we have a bearish headwind forming in the weekly if i change the interval to daily now we can see there are a series of bearish headwinds in nasdaq though there is a memory support also in nyse also there was a bearish headwind since then price couldn't go up it's starting to topple over it's not in a downtrend yet you can say it's moving sideways in the nyse nasdaq is still in an uptrend we'll see what happens today the bearish headwinds coming in broad indices in market futures market etfs and in many major stocks is a reason for concern however we don't take a short trade unless the checklist conditions are met for headwind trade setup you may look for such setups because there are many memory support lines in many stocks the shorting opportunities may not come immediately when the memory support is broken it gives very lucrative shorting opportunity i was looking at some of the global stocks i found a very nice example in this stock ltfh it's an indian stock but the concept can be applied in any market this is the pattern that i was showing in many american instruments also only difference is that there daily charts had memory support and here you will see if i am able to load it daily just broke below the support it was inside a triangle pattern same thing that we saw in many of the usa instruments here it could break below the support today the daily candle is magenta it created lower high and then gave a magenta color candle that is meeting all the checklist conditions for trend following short trade on the daily chart in the weekly price came to memory resistance and drop the weekly is not magenta yet however looking at the drop from the memory resistance in weekly and also the steep downtrend in weekly as well as in daily i thought it is giving a low risk shorting opportunity short could be taken at close of today stop would be just above the triangle pattern and initial profit target could be could be using different choices one could be to book partial profit once risk distance is covered you could also use the watermark support level or the lower boundary level using q technique you would also check the industry and fundamental if all are weak then we will be happy to short this stock this was from the india market though the market is weak in the usa it is not in a downtrend and some stocks broke out 
in QLA of the scans that I ran, one of them look for long breakout. Let's look at these stocks. They are breaking out of memory resistance. EA, it broke out of the memory resistance in daily. However, it is still in a downtrend. The daily candle color is also bearish, so we can ignore that. Gold ETF, it very nicely broke out of the, you can say kind of flag pattern, congestion pattern. Weekly is bullish. If you are interested in taking a gold trade, you could take a long trade yesterday, either at close of the day or even better, just as price was breaking above the memory resistance. Then you would cover more than risk distance, that is from the low of that candle to the, the risk would be from low of the candle to the entry price and by the end of the day, the trade would cover more than risk distance. You could book at least partial profit. Another approach could be to close the GLD ETF position and use part of the profit, not full profit, use part of the profit to buy a call option. So that if it goes up, you will have considerable upside. If it comes down, you will still have some profit. IMMU, it broke out of a triangle pattern. However, there is another memory resistance nearby in daily. Weekly also has a memory resistance. So we will keep an eye on it, but not take a trade now. NLY, it just broke out of the memory resistance. If it continues to go up today, then you may look for a long setup, breakout long setup using intraday charts. As always, it's good idea to check the fundamental and also the industry. NVIDIA just broke out, but practically you can see it is still inside a triangle pattern. I not want to enter a trade right now. I can see a bearish headwind is forming, but it is based on pre-market data. We'll see if the bearish headwind stays at the end of the market today. Still, we will not be able to take a shot like we saw in many cases because memory support lines are there. SLV Silver ETF. This has been stronger than gold. The last entry opportunity would be at this point where it created higher high, higher low. Then it gave a cyan color candle either on this day or on this day. Both of them were valid, go with flow, trend following, long trade setups. And they have covered the upper boundary level, the initial profit target already. It broke out of the memory resistance Yesterday, how far it is overextended. We may not want to chase the silver ETF. I will look at WPM last. Let's look at XME. Broke out of some memory resistance. How about more resistances are nearby? Not going to buy it right now. WPM. This is a Canadian company and it very nicely broke out of the memory resistance. This is another case where you don't enter the trade at the close of the day. You use intraday charts to see when it is breaking out of the memory resistance and take the trade at that point using five minute chart. Using radar, you could identify the breakout as it was happening. So you don't wait for the end of the day. There are many traders who like to take breakouts. This is forming a nice breakout in both weekly and daily. I'm not a fond of breakout trades. 
unless they give low risk entry setups and in this case i don't see a low risk entry setup for my style however it has gone up strongly yesterday with very high activity and also bullish pressure so it's a valid breakout scenario i wanted to look at the stock wpm and i found out that it's a canadian stock so instead of doing a peer analysis on the adr american depository receipt w what was the symbol wpm i wanted to do a peer analysis of the canadian stock because there are many mining companies in canada and doing a peer analysis on the toronto exchange will give me larger number of peer stocks we can see there are a number of stocks it has updated the data while it is retrieving let me show a snapshot that i posted in twitter was it in twitter it was in the forum in the usa traders club by the way i wanted to show you one thing when you come to the forum you see all the categories if you see a number inside a circle that shows how many new topics have arrived in these different categories if you go to the forum you can read them this dot now indicates these are the new topics and if you want to subscribe to the category you may click the plus or follow button then it will send you an email with the new posts you will not have to miss any post and this is a post i shared while i was looking at the pr stocks of wpm in the toronto exchange you see over last 5 days all the pr stocks have gone up considerably from 6.6 .6 to 29.7 6.6 .6 to 29.7 significant percentage move within one week and you could see this happening in real time and take long trades very profitable long trades let's look at their charts you can see the percentage changes over one day two day and five day periods very large percentage moves if we look at their charts not all of them but some of them will give valid q entry opportunity in last few days i close the existing chart and let me see if i can open all of them together i'm running the webinar that is taking memory and bandwidth the q vital and q edge programs and q global on metastock they are integrated so i can open the charts directly from fundamental or industry analysis and i am running low on resources let's see how many stocks we can look at this is usa.to not united states of america usa in toronto exchange here it is already above upper boundary level so we are not going to chase it the last buying opportunity could have been here when it was breaking out of this watermark levels many watermark levels were there and it was breaking out of it that time not a very clean entry though let's try to find cleaner entry by cleaner entry i mean where we could apply the q checklists and come to a conclusion without confusion here we have such an entry opportunity this is svm and we can identify it instantly in the daily we had higher high higher low and then we had a cyan color candle 
the weekly was cyan for many weeks. Therefore, this cyan color candle gave a go with flow trend following long setup, meeting all the checklist conditions. That was an easy entry. We would book partial profit at the upper boundary and we would continue to hold remaining position. S V M in Toronto Exchange that gave a very nice trend following long opportunity. Here we had a sand color candle two days ago in the daily. However, price was very near this memory resistance. Therefore, we wouldn't take a long trade. We are very risk averse if we are following Q technique. We are very risk averse, so we would rather take the trade in SVM and not in PASS. This is MAG in Toronto Exchange. This gave a long opportunity two days ago. We had a sand color candle and then it has gone up. We could book partial profit or we could continue to hold it waiting for the price to come up to the memory resistance line in daily. This was another valid entry where price went up with a sand candle and it also recovered the yellow direction line. Price was already above the white direction line. Therefore, when this sand color candle came, it just on that day came closed, closed higher than higher, closed above of the direction line. So that was additional reason to take a long trade in MAG on that day. The trend following long setup is applied only to stocks that are in an uptrend and in another case. And th this is a good example of that case. If a stock is in a downtrend and then starts to go up, we can take a trade in the cyan color candle even if it comes close to the upper boundary line. Usually we avoid taking go with flow long setup if price is near the upper boundary, but there is one exception. The exception is if price was earlier in a downtrend and just now starting to move up, turning from downtrend to uptrend, then the cyan color candle here is expected to come to the upper boundary. The first trend following long setup, you can say. First time it created higher high, higher low and then a sand color candle. It is okay in that case to take a long if any price closes near the upper boundary level. And since then price is going up. That was another profitable trade in a silver stock. Here also in fr.toronto.to we had a sand color candle but price was at the upper boundary level. What I was saying just now, if a stock was turning from downtrend to uptrend, we are okay to take a go with flow long, even if it is at the upper boundary. But this is not such a case. Here price was already in an uptrend. In that case, we are not going to take the go with flow long setup if price is at upper boundary. So we would not take the trade here, not using the end of day chart. If somebody was using real-time chart and ran the scan maybe in the morning session, then using the fine-tuned chart, one could probably enter the trade near the lower half of the candle. That would be acceptable entry, but we wouldn't take a long in this stock at the close of the sand color candle. That would be too risky in our technique. Not enough resource to load this stock. Here we had a possible box trade setup. However, we saw there were other silver stocks that were already in an uptrend. If there are multiple stocks in same industry and some are stronger already in an uptrend and still giving low risk entry setup, then I prefer to take 
the trend following trade rather than the box or bound setup so i would not take this i would take a long trade in one of the other silver stocks here also we had a nice cyan color candle in the daily weekly was already cyan however there was a memory resistance line nearby so i would not take it after the fact we can see it closed above the memory resistance but we do not know that in time while going through the silver stocks another stock came to my mind let's look at this stock nls it was in a downtrend for a long time okay let me connect nls is us stock so i can open it in qle I came to know of this stock from one of the Q traders and I want the meta stock this pop-up to go away You could find this stock using sonar in many different ways. One of my favorite sonars is to look for stocks that are at price extreme low and then moving up with, for example, high pressure, bullish pressure. It went up with bullish pressure on two successive days. The first day was still below the memory resistance. The second day, yesterday, it strongly went up above the memory resistance if somebody was watching it one could take a long trade right at the point it was breaking about the above the memory resistance here the daily candle color has turned cyan that is the flow candle color however we differentiate between the indicators like flow like the headwind signal and the trade setups. The trade setups are to be applied in appropriate market conditions. Go with flow setup is designed for trend following market condition. This stock is not in an uptrend. Therefore, we will say that it had a nice bullish flow yesterday with extreme bullish pressure, very high activity, extreme high activity. In fact, it was at pendulum low. In fact, few days ago, it had a reversal, this green dot at pendulum low. That was a bullish sign. However, price was below memory resistance. Then on this candle, it was breaking about memory resistance. One could try to take a long trade at that point, just as it was breaking above memory resistance yesterday. Only thing, we wouldn't call it a go with flow setup. We would call it a breakout setup. And let's look at the intraday chart. If somebody was tracking it and how could one find it? One could find it using sonar in real time. Then one could see that price was breaking above the early range high after opening with a gap up. Previous days high was at this level and opening was at this blue pivot level. Early range low couldn't go to previous days high it was a gap up open and then price continued to go up as per q technique that gave a gap long trade setup and while that was happening in the daily chart it was breaking above memory resistance combining those information you could confidently take a long trade as price closed above the early range high stop would be just below early range low and you could easily book profit at the high of the day. You could start to put trailing stop on partial position when price covered more than the risk distance. As I mentioned, if you traded it using options, however, it is a very low price stock, buying call option would not be effective here. You could try to short put options instead of buying the stock only if the options are liquid enough that is the bid ask spread 
is narrow enough if not then it is okay just to buy the stock you could exit partial position yesterday and now you could hold on to remaining position we don't know why it is going up but it had a very high volume extreme bullish pressure it had a reversal day in the daily chart and it had so far it is forming a reversal week in the weekly chart weekly is also at price extreme low let's see when the earnings is due NLS Yet the earnings is due on 31st July, still about two weeks to go. Sometimes people, insiders may know that earnings is going to be good and then price may suddenly start to go up without anything in the news. You may check the news also. Earnings is still about two weeks away, therefore it is okay to take a long trend. There is a short squeeze potential. Valuation is not looking good. However, that may change after the earnings earnings growth is also poor. So in terms of fundamentals, it is not good. It is in laser products industry, consumer discretionary sector. Let's check the industry. Sector is too broad. Sector is weakening. However, sector is too broad. Let's drill down. Laser product. The industry is strong and getting stronger turning from magenta to cyan therefore the industry is strong fundamentally is weak however it is just two weeks before earnings you may take a trade based on technical and industry strength and try to exit it before earnings That is all that I plan to share in today's session. As you can see, whatever be the market condition using the different scans and the unambiguous checklist, you can always find long trade setups as well as short trade setups. You may keep an eye on the forum for more such examples of 360 degrees analysis. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.